What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about some missing features from Modern Warfare 2 that a lot of people in the community are kind of, uh, I guess, confused about. A lot of these things have been in Call of Duty games from the start, from day one. Now these aren't really game-breaking things, but it's stuff that I'm kind of surprised is not already in-game. Uh, it's also a lot of things, so I'm kind of curious if it will be added all in later on down the road or if Infinity Ward's only going to add some of these things in. Let's go ahead and start talking about kind of the list of things the community has been discussing that is m missing or, or some key features that they would like to see back in the game. First of all, no hardcore mode right now. I'm assuming that will be added in fairly quickly. No leaderboards either. Uh, over the past few years, we've seen leaderboards and, and stats and things like that added in later down the road, but it's just kind of odd to me that there's not a leaderboard in, in Call of Duty on day one when the game is released. And that kind of goes along with those stats or barracks. That way you can see you know, kind of your own individual personal statistics, and we don't have the option for that right now. And that has also been something over the past several years that some of the developers have in right off the bat, and some of the developers kind of added in later down the road. When it comes to challenges, we don't really have any challenges for, you know, emblems or calling cards, which is something that's kind of disappointing to me. And I think it does, in my opinion at least, has something to do with, uh, battle passes being added into Call of Duty over the years. Um, and that's kind of taken away from giving those really cool calling cards in game to you, where most people just get their calling cards from the battle pass. And I really miss, uh, you know, those really neat, uh, individual calling cards that you could get from doing different challenges, um, or from different challenges, excuse me. When it comes to medals, that's something that's the community has been talking about as well. There's no medals in game right now. And that's another thing over the years that I think has been lacking. Some of the medals we've had in, you know, I think about Vanguard or even before, have not really been as good as what we used to see in older Call of Duty titles. Uh, the ability to save custom blueprints, there's been a lot of players talking about that. Uh, also, the ability to turn off crossplay in-game on Xbox and PC. Um, I know PlayStation has the option, but I've been seeing a lot of people complain that Xbox and PC does not have that option. Also, a XP token countdown. This one really just irks me for some reason. Uh, these tokens don't last that long anymore. Uh, not like they used to anyway, because they're actually just kind of live time. It's not like it's tracking on in-game time. So as soon as you hit that XP token, it starts you know, counting down. Uh, so even if you're in a lobby, you're not in a game yet, whatever the case is. And right now you have no option to be able to see the countdown of that token. So you don't even have a long, or how long it has left on it. Uh, customizable reticles, which is something that I do miss. Uh, that's another thing that I really liked in past Call of Duty titles where we have the option to customize that reticle. Now, of course, those are just some things that, you know, I've been seeing a lot of people talk about, whether it be on Twitter or, you know, forums for Call of Duty or anything like that. But there are probably some other things that I did not list here. If there's some things that you're, you know, you can think of, make sure you leave me a comment down in the comment section. Let me know those uh, features that you're looking for. And also leave me a comment. Let me know about these features that I listed because some of these, like I said, it's kind of shocking to me that it's not in the game just, you know, right, right from the start, right off the bat. Because a lot of this stuff I feel like, and I think a lot of people in the community feel like, it's not really that difficult or not really that hard of a thing to have in a game. You know, like I said, it's nothing that's game breaking, but it's just stuff that people have come to expect to be in a Call of Duty game over the last several years. Anyway, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.